Good evening everyone, how are we all? Let's sign back here again for another episode of Dustwood. And like I said, I hope you're well keeping safe. It is part 28, and we're flying through them a little bit now. Well, not. <laughs> what am I going on about? I don't know. Anyway, so welcome to Dustwood. Like I say, this is part 28. Um, and let's not waste any more time. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? Let's just get straight into it. So... We have interesting things happening with Richie at the moment seems to be marked on by this so-called mystery person. Um, the hacker sort of acting a bit weird as well. And uh, yeah, and obviously Dan, um, obviously not very well with being in hospital. So let's get on to the chat with Richie. Um, I think we're sort of halfway through a conversation. Anyway. Yeah, just come off that. Just one more thing, Simon. So this guy is called Phil. This is the brother of Jesse, I believe. So yeah, so here we go. So I'm not going to let you tell me in my own bar that I suppose he did something to her. Why the hell would you think that? Because I've bought her a drink every now and then? Hmm. What? We don't think that's all? I'm one of you that act responsibly. But not everyone in Dustworld is like that. I was just giving you some friendly advice. I know you told me just to leave it. Leave him alone, sorry. But what you said to Cleo really stuck it out of my mind. Yeah, a bit strong, isn't it? <laughs> so Phil owns his own bar, as far as I'm concerned. So, as far as I know, shall I say, anyway. Okay. Alright, so... Roger's garage owned by Richie's family and Jesse's place of employment. Okay. Marvellous. All right, come off that now. Let's go back to the chat. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I knew this was going to happen. Anyway, folks, I'm going to be back in a second. So, as soon as, as, soon as I've uh, done the three mini games, I will be back. See you in a bit, folks. Hello there, folks. We're going back to a random unknown phone call. Who is it? Wow. That was scary, wasn't it, folks? <laughs> Who would want to travel in the woods in the middle of the night? Anyway, so yeah, I managed to sort of do the three uh, three objectives, obviously, to um, sort of continue, basically, the game. So anyway, so here we are. So let's crack on, shall we? And we'll be talking to the hacker, by the looks of it. I yeah, just received a really strange call. I hope the hacker saw it. Saw it too. What are his intentions? Is it a he? We don't know if it's a he, do we? There we go. Isn't it? I don't know. So, well, you, well, we ain't going to know the answers, are we? I believe that there is more to come. Hmm. The call came from the forest. Somehow it seems to be important. Well, it seems to be, doesn't it? Hmm, very strange. You're absolutely right about that. So we've got a mystery person, have we? Well, this is not good, is it? You're absolutely right about that. Cleo was jogging in the forest when she was being filmed. Yeah, she was. Obviously, as you sort of saw, that was one of our possible answers. <laughs> Anyway, Richard was in the forest when he was marked. Do we have a legend turned reality as a suspect? Hmm, uh, maybe a copycat. Could be, could be. Obviously, like I say, a legends of light, like I say, back in the day. Um, like I say, somebody could be copying that person as we speak. Quite mad, isn't it? A bit frightening, eh? <laughs> <laughs> people, oh dear, 
That was a bit mental, anyway. So anyway, the first time you told me about the man without a face, I didn't really take it too serious. However, now I think it is very possible that our per perpetrator is hiding behind the legend. I'll get I'll get to the words out in a minute. Hmm. I'd like some to other. It seems like people are supposed to stay away from the forest. Yeah, this I think there's something. Yeah. There is something in this forest, obviously, because there's something, because sort of clear has been sort of obviously filmed. And obviously all these sort of weird sort of things happening seems to be happening in the, in the forest. So, uh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> and maybe they'll find something. Well, hopefully, like I say, hopefully they'll find something. But it's, yeah, it's just very strange, isn't it? Why would you, you know, why would you sort of, it's just strange, isn't it? Or why would you, would you sort of go in the forest at night in the first place? Oh, dear, you just look, you don't know what's out and about, do you? Not just like people, I mean, I mean, if you're stupid enough to go out the forest, and you know, whatever, isn't it? But, you know, you've got all wildlife and stuff like that, isn't it? So, hmm, anyway, maybe. Something else I need your help, Simon. What is that? What's it about? Go on, what is it about? What is it about? So I just sort of sort of watching the football at the moment. Good old Ronaldo's playing. Anyway. <laughs> oh shut up. I enhanced the uh, prescription from Hannah's Cloud some more was able and was able to make the doctor's name uh, legible again. It appears Hannah went to see a certain Dr. Yurik Barrett. Okay. Interesting. I want you to find out the password to his computer for me. Uh, How am I supposed to do that? So that means we're probably going to go into the files. Again. Seems to be a bit of a trait, this does, doesn't it? <laughs> it is not uncommon for people to choose things for passwords. That means something to them. Oh, yeah, true. I've got passwords that are sort of, well, I don't know, weird anyway. A beloved family member, a number sequence that has a certain meaning to them. Yeah, possibly true. Bit weird. Many people are openly sharing such personal information about themselves. Basically, it's just really ridiculous. Yeah. A lot of people tend to do that. I don't know why it's like... Why do people do that? Sort of share information about this and that, this and that. It's like... I mean, talking from previous experience, not that long ago, about a month or two months ago, I was actually hacked on Facebook. Um, it was just... It all, all come from literally, like, from a message from... Who I thought somebody was like a friend, and um, then it turned out to be um, yeah, it turned out to be a hacker, and all my Facebook was taken over, um, which was annoying, obviously. But what can you do anyway? Uh, what does Orwick Barrett like? Was he doing uh, his free time? What kind of pictures is he uploading? That might lead us to his password. Uh, okay. All right, so that means we're going to have to uh, do what we usually do, hack again. God, this is becoming a bit of a trait, this one. Anyway, text me the password as soon as you figure it out. Uh, what am I meant to do? Uh, I only found out that it's a five letter password. So that, does that mean we have to go on the internet or something like that? I don't know. Right, it seems like we do have to go on the internet, but the thing is, is like, I don't want to really use my mobile data just to... Ugh. I found it's five letters. Unfortunately, I have to give up. <laughs> just, I've not wasted my bloody thingy that just to get it's just like that's too bad mm. 
and I would have loved to help you. I knew the time was such a great team. Yeah, I'm not bothering it, but to be fair, like I say, obviously for folks, if you, I don't know if you know, but obviously when you use your mobile data, you're looking on the internet, hence like Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc., like social media websites, they do not take off your sort of like mobile data. I mean, literally, you zap it off. So then I better go and take care of the doctor's computer now. And good luck. Good luck to you, Mr. or Mrs. Hacker. Whoever you may be. So that was an interesting sort of convo. I mean, we could, like I said, we could have gone on the internet, but I'm not going to bother. Simple as that. And surprise, surprise, we've got to go to the cloud again. Oh, this is doing my nap. Well, folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this episode pretty short. Um, and then what I'm going to do is off, uh, sort of off recording. I'm going to try and do as much as I can and complete the game. So we don't have to keep coming back to this all the time because it's literally doing my head in. Um, it seems to be a habit. But anyway, so folks, thanks for watching and uh, sorry for the short episode. But hopefully I'll be back again sometime a little bit later on. Um, and like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel on Facebook. Uh, not Facebook, sorry. YouTube. I'll get there in a minute. And <laughs> like I say, take care, folks. And, uh, and like I say, and I shall catch you again soon. Bye, all.